Okay, good morning. Good nice morning. to see you all here. Um, this recording is uh, so we can put it on our um, website. And it's going to be about varnishing watercolors and attaching them to boxes so that we can enter the squared showcase. So for those of you that um, are new to varnishing watercolors, this is something that we have to do if we're not going to put either plexi or glass on top of a watercolor to put on the wall or um, to show in a regular show. So first of all, we've got two kinds of boxes that we can use. This is uh, canvas. Most of the oil painters and the acrylic painters are painting on this. Okay, middle. And we've got the wood boxes. Now for doing the watercolors, I particularly like this better than this because we can't have the real nice square sides because of the folded canvas. But they both work, um, so it really doesn't matter. It's just a personal thing, okay? So those are the types of boxes. And now we're going to go through the first thing you need to do. You've got your image, and you want to cut it to fit the box. Uh, give me the white box back. I think that's the same size. Yeah. <clears throat> the boxes are not exactly 6 by 6, 8 by 8, 10 by 10. They're usually a tad smaller. So make sure you measure the box and that nothing is sticking over, okay? So if you have a little sticking over, you've got to trim it, even if it's a little tiny bit. Can they see that? No, hang on a minute. No, I'll move it over. Yeah, you would be in charge of that. Come down. For you guys, it fits. There. Even if it's a little over like that, it's going to get caught and pulled off. So you want to make sure it's not showing any of the white like that for you guys that are here in the studio. Okay? And then you'll be ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> now, once you get this size, you have to also paint your box. The best is black, then everybody will look the same, but it will look better on a wall than just a pure white one because that will look unfinished. Acrylic, so, gesso? Okay. The black? Yeah. Black acrylic? Black acrylic or gesso. Or gesso. So, for the camera, is that coming across? Yeah. Okay. Black gesso or acrylic black. Either one will work. Okay, the black gesso is a little rougher. And you don't have to worry about this area of it being um, totally covered because that's not going to matter. It'll stick to it. But this you want to see black if it doesn't quite fit. And in this case, with the canvas, it's going to be a little wavy around the corners. I guarantee it. Okay, so then you get this to fit. Now, personally, I have found if you leave the corner sharp, they're going to get caught. So I use a little bit of sandpaper and I just dull that corner a little bit, round it, okay, mm -hmm. just a little, mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Do you have a thick black magic marker? I forgot mine. 
So you definitely want the edges to be straight cut and not like a torn edge. Right. Okay. Yeah. If you're real good at tearing, it would work. Yeah. But then you'd have to lose some of your the image, image. Yeah. and bring it in more. Okay. So I would say a flat because um, like this is finished and it looks good finished, but you got it a little um, narrower. And so you have a black edge showing. showing a so bit. on the wall, you never, you know, you're, you're gonna, gonna see black anyway. Right. Okay. Now, once I am sure that this is going to fit and I'm not going to round the corners anymore, then I blacken the edges. Oh, okay. okay. Now, I use black watercolor, but you can also use black magic marker, which she's gonna get. Okay, so now that I rounded the corners, they're white again, so I'll take the magic marker and touch up the corner. Okay, so let's see, make sure we got everything done. Okay. And do you have to paint the top of the box all black? Um, paint some of it because the, um, the gloss medium will stick better if there's some paint on here. Okay, all right, so we're blackening edges, and you can do it with watercolor or you can do touch up with magic marker. Okay, now. We need fixative on the watercolor. So before you even start mounting it or um, putting gloss medium on this, we have to fix it so the paint doesn't move. Otherwise, you're going to have paint moving. And especially the real darks. Even after fixing this, these darks are going to want to move a little bit because the fixative doesn't totally coat it. So this is the fixative, and you can get it in matte finish or gloss. And the recommendation is that you use gloss medium through the whole thing, gloss spray, gloss fixative. And then if you don't want it glossy, the last coat, you can put matte on it, okay? Because your matte sprays. Say that it's Grumbacher. Oh, this one is Grumbacher. Fixative. Final fixative. Final fixative. There's some workable fixative that you can also use. Um, meaning you can go back and keep painting on top of that. Okay. okay. But then you've got to fix it again before you do anything else or it's gonna just come right off, mm -hmm. okay? When you're spraying the fixative, I find, now they're gonna have trouble seeing this, I'm sure. You do all your spraying outdoors. Don't do any spraying indoors. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a box, can you see it? Okay, I have a box at home with a tilted um, arrangement like this so that I'm spraying into the box at something at an angle. Because I have found if you spray something flat, by the time the spray gets to the paper, it has already dried and you have snow on your paper. Okay. So I find it this way, okay? So I will tilt it. I'm not going to spray. And I will spray horizontal and vertical fairly quickly. Then you let it dry 20, 25 minutes, and you do it three or four times. Okay? And if you have darks like I've got here, really concentrate in that area. If you put too much on it, it'll run. So you're better off three or four times, go out every half hour and spray away, okay? Is that part of the procedure understandable? Yes. Okay, 
we have people here in the audience, so they're, I'm bouncing it off of them. Okay. This one is the one. Okay, this guy's been sprayed. Okay, now once all that's done, this is protected. The edges are done. This has been painted and dried. Okay, make sure you do your drying time. We'll get rid of that. And my gloss. Okay, this is acrylic gel gloss. Okay. Now again, the most important part are the corners and the edges. So I will cover it first and then put a little extra there. Don't use too much water, but you need water to get it to spread and not be gloppy. That's an artistic <laughs> term. I need a couple of paper towels. Thank you. Peggy Kirkwood is my assistant. <laughs> Got to give her credit, we're filming. In any kind of brush, or should you use a sponge or? Uh, anything brush? to get it, down. get it down. But if you use a sponge, you're gonna lose a lot of medium into the sponge, so. Okay. From New England, can't stand that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I also, Put it on here. I put a thinner coat on this. Just make sure I'm under the camera. Okay, now just make sure I'm got my corners. Now I know that this box isn't quite square. this way. So I cut the watercolor for the box that isn't quite square, so that's where it goes. Okay, put it down. Get a little off. Now, if you don't have this type of roller, use your rolling pin that you do cookies with. Now, with the box, it's a little different than with um, the canvas ones. With the canvas ones, put wax paper on it, turn it upside down, and you're going to put a weight on here, but also put something in here to push this down into your watercolor paper. The boards, you can treat differently. All right. 
I'm going to move, will that fit in there? Nope. My rocks. For my rock collection. So I would start piling some rocks in here like this. Some more and I'd fill it up with rocks and then take this and put that here and then pile a couple books on it. Okay? So that takes care of the canvas one now. I, and then how long to dry? I leave it overnight because you're blocking the drying from getting into the watercolor. So I found about morning and then I take it off and let it sit and dry some more. Okay, because of that. Now this we need. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta pile my rocks up. Okay. Let's see. I need about three books. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now, with the directions that I'm going to put at the end of this tape, you can do that step when we did it, like number two, or you can wait and do that third, okay? There are two steps that are interchangeable here. Doesn't matter which one you do first, second, or third, okay? So we mounted it now. Now we're gonna coat one. Julia Childs, <laughs> <laughs> all finished, ready to go. <clears throat> now this doesn't have super dark here. So with the spraying that I've done with the fixative, this should not move. But when you put the gel gloss medium on top and treat it, keep an eye on our colors moving and use your brush as little as possible, okay? And if it starts moving, you can actually push some, lift some of the, the stuff off, okay? So hopefully I've sprayed it enough. Use a real soft brush and a wider brush if you have it. If you have a two inch, Okay, I'll use this one. Now this is the gel gloss again. You can mix it half and half with water and it'll move easier. Won't be as thick. So I'm gonna use the half and half My advice here is don't keep going back over and scrubbing. Just get it down. And I usually come back and do two coats. Come back once again. I don't see anything moving. And I'm using a very light touch. I'm not pushing down like I'm painting the walls. If I had a two inch brush, it would go faster. And only in one direction. I'm trying not to um, go over it too many times. Uh, one direction that that's not necessary. 
but I've coated it, so that's the main thing I'm trying to do without scrubbing it. Now this might move, because it's darker, but I don't see any indication. Our group is painting these and um, for the show. And with drying time of all these things, it's about three days for finishing because you're spraying, you're spraying, you're spraying, and then you're mounting and then you're mm -hmm. covering again. But we're finding this an interesting way to present watercolors. If you're not going to enter a, a show that says you can't fix watercolors, it's kind of an inexpensive way to frame for small items. Oh, you can sign it anytime. Doesn't have to be. So you can sign after you do it. All right, now the edges also should be coated with this, but to do it all at the same time, yeah. I find I can't pick it up and I... You have a little bit of leakage. So, yeah, wipe it off. This will dry colorless. Okay. So, I end up putting these in front of a fan it dries faster. Okay. What's our next step? Mount. Okay. We've, so this is the third step. And you can do the coating of the watercolor before you put it on the box, or you can do it after. It's on the box, either one. Doesn't matter, okay? And then you want to coat around the box with the gloss medium after that's dry, okay? And two. I would do two coats. Okay, so let it dry and then do a second yep. coat. That's and what I do. Dry. Yep. Okay. Then I get the box for spraying out again. Okay. Get a spray box, head outside with it after it's dry and you've done all your edges. And then we're coming back with the UV resistant clear coating, gloss. Yep. And this is one is finished. Okay. Yep. Spray. You're going to spray this in your box. Again, Tilted vertically, spray. I do it a couple of times, as many or as many as you want. And then, if you don't like the gloss, which is what that one has, I bring those that and the one behind it. No, that one. Yep, yeah, that one's finished. That one's finished. Okay, these are super glossy. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay, and if you don't want it that glossy, you just do one spray with matte or satin, okay? So, this is UV satin. Cryon? Same thing. So, I've been using the gloss, and then if I want to dull it a little, I use the satin or the matte. And where do they buy these? Amazon. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's where I get them, and you, they'll get it there in a day or two. Yeah. Okay. So that should be the finish. Let's let me check. Okay. If you don't want a glossy finish, okay. Now you can get the Krylon UV resistant, or you can get. Goldens, Windsor Newtons, Liquitex, Grumbacher, they all have the same products. Okay, it's up to you. This one is the least expensive and for 
what I have done, because I'm finishing most of these for my group, um, it's working great. About how many of those can you get out of one of these? That I have no clue. Okay. So it's more than one. Oh, right? yes. With the number of coding oh, yes. that you're doing. You'll okay. have plenty to do more. Okay down the line. You're painting fairly small still, right, still yep. so mounting on boxes is, um, you know, a, a good answer. Okay. Cheaper than a frame. <laughs> okay. And at the end of this, we will put on um, my notes so that you'll have them to look at as well as having seen it. But make sure you go outside, wear a mask, tilt your paper, and you shouldn't have a problem. Okay. okay, plenty of drying time. We want the painting signed. Yes. On the front. Okay. And then also on the back, give us the name of the painting and your name. Oh, and medium. And the medium that you're using, whether it's watercolor, acrylic, oil, pastel, whatever it is. So again, sign it on the front, your signature, and on the back, the name of the painting, your name, and the medium that you're using. Okay, thank you. Okay, come on down, and I'll move it. Keep it in the center. You want me to turn it sideways? No. Okay. And then, don't forget to wash your brushes. <laughs> Watercolors don't have this problem, but now that you're using an acrylic paint, make sure you rinse your brush, you use soap and alcohol. If it seems stiff at the end, leave it in alcohol for an hour and then wash it again. And for those of you who are watching the video, if you wanna go ahead and do a screenshot of the steps, then you'll have it. We'll leave it up for a little bit. i give you time to do that. Okay. So, and if you have any questions, you can give us a call at the new studio. The number here is 561-295-5712 or you can email me at Peggy, P-E-G-G-Y, dot new studio, N-E-W-S-T-U-D-I-O, V is in visual, A is in arts, at gmail.com. And you can find us on our website, www.newstudiova.net. Thanks for joining us. You're good. <laughs> <laughs>